Hello everybody, this is David from Sony Casino and today I want to talk to you about uh, a big misconception uh, that a lot of people have who are dancers and so every now and then they attempt to talk about the Klawe pattern uh, and that misconception is the Klawe, uh, the Rumba Klawe, what they will call Rumba Klawe and I will call Wawanko Klawe uh, is because Wawanko has three different styles uh, Rumba, uh, Wawanko, um, Jambu and Columbia and each in each style with the clave pattern is actually pretty different um, and so what people call the Wawanko clave um, layer or rumba clave uh, the misconception being that if this is a 2-3 clave uh, and there is a reason why people would think that because I mean, when you listen to it the Wawanko clave it goes like this and so it feels like there are two hits happening together and then three hits happening together and so that's why people call it a 2-3 clave. However, this is actually a 3-2 clave. Now, what makes a 3-2 clave and a 2-3 clave is how many hits ha are happening per measure. Music is written in measures, and the clave pattern spans two measures of four beats each. If it's a 2-3 clave, it has to be two hits in the first four measures, and then three hits in the, first, in the next four measures. Um, so if we were to say that the Wawanko Klau is a 2-3 Klau, then we have to have two hits in the first four measures, then in the next four measures have three hits. And so let's see how that would sound. And I'm going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 1, 2, 3, 4 again. Okay? Uh, <coughs> and uh, it will sound like this. We'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, Four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. As you can see, this does not sound like the one cochlea. If it's, if you actually have three hits in the second measure, it sounds like something else. Uh, because the one cochlea, it doesn't sound like. It sounds like. Okay. And so, what seems to be the problem is where people locate the third hit of the cloud. Um, now, if we cannot be on the one of the next measure, then it doesn't belong in the next measure. You have to put it in the first measure. If you put it on the fourth beat of the first measure, uh, it will be a song clave. Listen. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So it cannot be, the third hit cannot be on the fourth beat of the first measure because that will make it a song clave. So if it's not on the fourth, it has to be on the fourth and that's what it's called in musical terms an eighth note so if we actually were able to put uh, the third hit on the on the four and then we'll have our one cochlea it will sound like this one two three four 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 see that's why our one clave is actually a 3-2 clave, not a 2-3 clave. Um, because the first three hits are actually happening in the first measure and not happening on the second uh, measure of the pattern. 